There is a proper season for making attacks with fire and special days for starting a conflagration. The proper season is when the weather is very dry. The special days are those when the moon is in the constellations of the sieve, the wall, the wing or the crossbar. For these four are all days of rising wind. 1. When fire breaks out inside to enemy's camp, respond at once with an attack from without. 2. If there is an outbreak of fire but the enemy's soldiers remain quiet, bide your time and do not attack. 3. When the force of the flames has reached its height, follow it up with an attack if that is practicable. If not, stay where you are. 4. If it is possible to make an assault with fire from without, do not wait for it to break out within, but deliver your attack at a favorable moment. 5. When you start a fire, be to windward of it. Do not attack from the leeward. Sun Tzu emphasizes the importance of timing and conditions when using fire as a weapon. He outlines specific scenarios and responses for effectively utilizing fire in warfare. 1. Attack from outside. When fire starts inside, if fire breaks out in the enemy's camp, launch an external attack immediately. 2. Wait if the enemy remains quiet. If a fire starts but the enemy remains calm, do not rush to attack. Be patient and wait for the right moment. 3. Attack at the peak of the flames. When the fire is at its strongest, attack if feasible. If not, hold your position. 4. Initiate fire from outside, when possible. If you can start a fire externally, do so at an opportune time without waiting for it to begin internally. 5. Position with the wind. Always start a fire from the windward side to let the wind spread it toward the enemy, avoiding attacking from the leeward side. In Xiangqi, Chinese chess, these principles can guide strategic gameplay, focusing on timing, positioning and exploiting the opponent's vulnerabilities. 1. Attack. When the opponent is vulnerable, fire inside the camp. If your opponent's position is under pressure, for example their pieces are trapped or exposed, launch a decisive attack to capitalize on their weakness. 2. Be patient if the opponent is steady. Quiet enemy. If your opponent maintains a strong defense despite your threats, wait for a better opportunity rather than attacking prematurely. 3. Strike at the peak of opportunity. Height of the flames. When your opponent is in the most precarious position, for example after making a risky move or having multiple pieces attacked, make your move to maximize the impact. 4. Create pressure before they react. Fire from without. If you can create a threat, for example positioning your pieces for a check or capturing a key piece, before your opponent can respond, do so without hesitation. 5. Position yourself advantageously. Windward position. Place your pieces in positions where they can exert maximum influence and pressure on your opponent's pieces, much like using the wind to spread fire toward the enemy. By understanding these principles and applying them to Shang-Chi, you can improve your strategic planning and execution, leading to more effective and successful gameplay.